And so many of his musical compadres are here tonight. Some of them are probably sitting here in the audience talking and not paying attention to the stage. <laughs> and um, speaking of people who knew John, I'd like to introduce someone. Oh, by the way, you know, I have to thank everyone from, uh, as we start the night, I'd like to thank all the musicians, but I also want to thank everyone from Wild Honey who put on an amazing benefit for John. And nobody should ever forget what they did for him. And it is still, to this day, very much appreciated. And uh, so, a lot of great musicians here tonight. We want to start uh, with someone who we first came to know in the era of the British invasion. He became a legend in the music business managing and producing James Taylor, Linda Ronstadt, and a host of others. Please welcome our good friend, Mr. Peter Asher. Thank you very much. You got your voice back. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm honored to be, to be invited to, to do the opening song of this evening, an evening inspired by our admiration for and, and affection for John Wicks. Now, I have to admit, I didn't know John very well myself, and I, I, I wish I'd got to know him better. I met him relatively recently. We did some benefits together. We did some things together. I got to know him well enough to know that he was an incredibly smart and extremely charming guy. Um, and I also recognize, of course, that I knew his music, and his musical contributions have been quite extraordinary. You know, and, uh, not only as a performer, as, uh, because of the records, of course, but also as a songwriter, as a producer. In fact, I would go so far as to say that John Wicks is one of those people who's kind of, in a way, the hidden backbone of the music business. You know, there's a lot of musicians in that position where, you know, not wildly famous, but at the same time, extremely well respected by all, all of his peers, as evidenced by all of us up here tonight. Someone who wrote some remarkable songs, produced some remarkable records, worked extremely hard, was a fine musician, came out of the sort of post-punk era and turned into a, a, you know, a brilliant musician in so many fields. And, you know, it's the kind of thing where you, sometimes when you talk about John Wicks, you might have to explain who he is, and then, and then when you do, people would go, oh, right, oh, that, oh, yes, exactly. And if you ever play Starry Eyes, it's one of those records where people go, oh, yeah, that record, I love that one, that's great. And that's all thanks to the great John Wicks. So I'm, I'm proud, as I say, to be here tonight with all these great musicians on stage, um, with whom I have yet to play a note. We didn't do a sound check or anything, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but anyway... So uh, it, you will not be surprised by the song that they, that they asked me to sing, um, because even though we are sadly compelled uh, to, to live in a world without John Wicks, he will, of course, be always remembered for his incredible music. And we will never have to live in a world without love. Two, three, four. Bye. 